In this episode of Field Trips, wildlife biologists lace up their boots and sling a dart rifle. We'll go, just keep going right up this ridge line. All in the name of bighorn sheep research. You appreciate being able to do what you do and why you do it. Hopefully, her getting ready to go dark sheep. Um, there's a group of about 14 right in this area um, that we've been seeing consistently. We're going to go up there and see if we can ground dart one and get some samples and put a collar on it and let it go. As part of the Bighorn Sheep Adaptive Plan, biologists Brent Lawner and Alex Kunkel are conducting research near the community of Cascade in the Missouri River Corridor to tranquilize a bighorn sheep. While the bulk of this study has utilized helicopters for live captures, this particular bighorn sheep herd lives in close proximity to area residents, requiring a boots on the ground approach. Just keep going right up this ridge line. If we don't see them, we'll just loop around that. This is a five-year statewide research of bighorn sheep, and FWP is working with partners like University of Montana, Montana State, Montana Wild Sheep Foundation, private landowners, wool growers, just to name a few, to help FWP better manage these hugely popular big game animals. Big one, Rocky Mountain big one sheep have pretty diverse areas where they live. And it's a combination of how they evolved and adapted to the native places where they worked over thousands of years. Over the past century, bighorn sheep abundance and distribution in Montana has been, well, all over the map. Populations have ebbed and flowed between low numbers and high numbers. Some of the causes of these fluctuations due to habitat loss, predation, and disease. FWP, along with other partners, are working together to have a more comprehensive understanding of bighorn sheep trends in order to sustain this valuable resource for generations to come. After a straight incline hike to the top, the biologists have spotted the herd. Although these are wild sheep, the herd isn't alarmed at their presence. But Brent still needs to approach this herd slow and steady in order to get a 20 to 30 yard shot. It's important he doesn't make any sudden movements. With a well-placed start, it doesn't take long for the sedative to kick in. This goes on to keep them calm, covers their eyes, you can draw blood. So this is all used for disease testing. Lots of pathogens, lots of pasturella, different types of pasturella that they can carry. The biggest one, that's the biggest interest on a national level right now. It's called Mycoplasma ovi pneumoniae. Um, and that's a big one that we think is a culprit that can create. A lot of times they, d they die from pneumonia, but it's what causes the pneumonia is what the big concern is. And Mycoplasma ovi pneumoniae is something that's really being looked at on a Western North America level. With blood drawn, ear tagged, and GPS collar in place, a drug is administered to wake up this young you. Does it ever get old looking at these big horn sheep? No, uh -uh. you take it for granted. But, you know, a kind sight when you, after you go out and you do something for a day, you appreciate being able to do what you do and why you do it. 